Hey, Next Gen, Mr. Jeff here. Happy New Year. We made it. I am excited for our January learning series, Activate Knowledge from the New Testament. Join us for Children's Church every Sunday beginning January 8th at the 9.30 a.m. or the 12.30 p.m. service. I mean, I'm so excited. There's a song to go along with it. Okay. Holy Spirit, activate. Oh, no. Holy oh, Spirit, no. Oh, activate. No. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 Oh, Holy Spirit, activate. Oh, no. Holy oh, Spirit, no. Oh, activate. No. Oh, no. Holy, Spirit. Oh, no. Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 Now, wasn't that hilarious? But I want to see you. Let's tune in to Mr. Caleb to see what's in store for us this month. I'm Caleb, and this right here is my Bible. You can dive into the Bible online or check it out through an app. You can even pick up a hard copy and fan through the pages. But however you read it, the Bible is filled with amazing wisdom and truth, inspired by God and written down over hundreds of years by dozens of people who followed God. Inside these 66 books, you'll discover history, stories of adventure, poetry, personal letters, and much more. If you wanna find knowledge about what it means to follow Jesus with your whole life, this is the place to start. And I've got five stories that tell us all about it. We begin in the New Testament book of Matthew. Jesus has been born and a brilliant star shines high above to share the news. Far to the east, a group of wise scholars wanna know what's up. A deep dive in the archives tells them a new king has arrived. But these wise men they want to know more, and the only way to find out is an epic road trip that will bring them face to face with the king of everything. Let's slide two books forward to Luke. Here, Jesus is growing up, but even though he's God's son, Jesus still has to study and learn. When Jesus and his parents take a road trip to Jerusalem for the Passover feast, Mary and Joseph accidentally leave their son behind. They finally discover him doing what matters most, learning more about God. And they aren't the only ones amazed by what their 12-year-old knows and understands. <laughs> Time to hop forward one book to John. Fast forward 18 years. Jesus' cousin, John, has been calling people to turn away from their sins and be baptized in the river. When Jesus shows up, he asks John to baptize him, even though John thinks it should be the other way around. As Jesus rises up from the waters of the Jordan River, God's spirit descends like a dove and a voice from heaven shares the most amazing knowledge about who Jesus is. Let's slide back to Luke. A big crowd has witnessed Jesus' baptism, but even though it seems like the perfect time for him to gather followers, Jesus doesn't stick around. Instead, God's spirit leads him into the desert. For 40 days, Jesus eats nothing as he listens to God. And when he faces three tempting offers by the devil, Jesus is ready with the best defense of all, God's very own words. We wrap up back in the book of Matthew. Jesus has been traveling all over Galilee, teaching and healing. But his cousin John has been locked in prison by King Herod. Confused and discouraged, John sends messengers to ask Jesus, are you the one who is supposed to come? Jesus isn't angry with John's questions and sends back a quick response to let John know that God's kingdom is truly on the move. God always welcomes our questions. 
That's how we can gain more knowledge. And I can't wait to see how it grows in you and me. Thank you.